Hey, what's up everybody? It's Meath24, and today I'll be taking a look at the 1 to 144 scale no grade Turn X Gundam from the uh, Turn A Gundam series of Bandai's model kits. Um, as I mentioned in the Turn A Gundam review, if you watch that, uh, this is one of, I think, six model kits that was in that entire lineup. Uh, and this is the main bad guy mobile suit of that series. Uh, he doesn't actually show up until very late in the, the Turn A series, but uh, he's it's pretty powerful. Uh, if you've seen the series, uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, um, anyways, uh, he comes in a pale, like, I don't know what you'd call it. It's almost like a teal or a green color. Somewhere in between the two. Um, it's a very unique color for a mobile suit. Um, there's very few uh, green mobile suits to begin with, so to do something other than the normal forest green is kind of cool. Um, I didn't paint the guy, but I did panel line all the areas on here that are darkened um, with the indents and whatnot, those are all panel lined. Um, other than the green, uh, really the only other, other color that you get is uh, gray, which is for the backpack and the uh, inner vents and everything. Uh, also for the rubber hand, the joints, the toes and whatnot. Um, as far as posability goes, um, it's, it's pretty good for a no grade. Um, the arms can I guess rotate 360 if you avoid the backpack there. Um, you can get about a 90 degree bend, not quite close. Um, the one hand is rubber and it can rotate 360 and wiggle about and all that. Um, the other arm uh, still bends as far, but it's uh, it's a like I think it's a particle cannon. Um, I don't know if they actually had a name for it in the show, but basically it's just a big cannon, and in the show it opens up a bunch of different flaps and shoots this high-energy beam out of it. Um, the head can rotate 360, although it will follow up and around the uh, neck collar. The neck collar is kind of raised in the back, um, but it doesn't really have any problems going around there. The front skirt there doesn't actually move, and there are no back skirts or side skirts to be found on this kit. Uh, the legs can go... Up about that high. Whoops, it just popped out. I swear that has never happened before, but it would do, do it when I'm doing a review. <laughs> uh, to go back that far, and because of the design of the feet, they're kind of like, <laughs> they remind me of like uh, bird feet or dinosaur feet or something, um, because you've got the normal bend here, which goes about 90 degrees, but you've also got a bend here, which kind of goes forwards some. Um, so I don't Darn it all, that leg. Um, and then also you have some uh, posability in the toes there, which is kind of cool. And it does make a little clicking sound sometimes if you bump the sides of the uh, foot. It's not anything breaking, it's just the sound it makes. Um, as far as uh, accessories go, this guy um, comes with two. One of them is a bazooka, which you can pop in his hand there and it'll kind of go behind him a little bit there and he can fire it like that um the other one is a rifle kind of similar to the turn a's it's a little bit smaller um also comes in gray and that just pops in the hand as well i don't honestly remember him using either of these in the show uh maybe they're from a, a video game or the manga or something but i don't remember them showing up in the show maybe it's just my uh memory or something but these can both go in the uh, backpack as well um, I think I remember correctly that goes there and then does this one got it wrong way yep so both of them can be stored nicely in there um, as far as the instruction booklet goes um, just the front is a shot of him and from what this picture shows the backpack is supposed to be kind of a purpley gray color um, I don't know if I'll ever paint my Turn X's backpack, but if I do, I guess I'll try and do something close to that color. The back side, you've got some action shots of him with his weapons. There's his particle cannon. And there's another shot of him standing and more shots of the backpack on the Gundam. And then there is uh, Jim Gingham, who is the uh, pilot of this bad boy. So uh, I think I picked this one up from Gundam Store and more for like... Seven or eight bucks. Maybe it was a little bit more than that, but uh, definitely good for the uh, price I paid for it. Um, 
I was not expecting as much posability as this guy has, and uh, I thought maybe I'd have to paint more of him, but uh, he looks pretty good right out of the box. Um, like like I showed here, the panel lining kind of helps here, but um, other than that, he's definitely a good buy if you can find him. Uh, nothing spectacular, but, you know, for for what he is, he's, uh, he's pretty cool. So uh, with that, I will see you guys next time.